It is time now for the Barry Chell. 3 o'clock news and it's Tuesday afternoon, June 30, 2015. Good afternoon and evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins out here. 3 o'clock news and I ain't there. Our top story at 3 o'clock in this. Tuesday afternoon is in Washington, where New Jersey Governor Chris Christie returned to his alma mater on Tuesday to formally announce his 2016 presidential bid embracing his lunch talk in person at the day stripes of Santa from the jam packed field. In Athens, just as before, Greece could summon in the fall. Greek finance minister Yanis Varoufakis said Tuesday that he believed the country's creditors could still find a way to keep the country's financial lifeline open the day wanted. All 130 people on board at Hercules C-130 military cargo aircraft were feared killed when the military plane crashed into a residential area in Medan-Sri on Indonesia, Sumatra Island on Tuesday, media reported. In South Tunisia, green news came for Britain on Tuesday as the number of confirmed British fatalities in last week's terror attack in the Tunisia beat to resort to 22. President Obama turned on the walk away from nuclear deal with Iran if it fails to keep tabs on the country's compliance that is negotiations were extended past their original Tuesday deadline and amid sharp disagreements. Washington, President Obama and President Dilma Rousseff of Brazil announced a series of agreements on Tuesday to address climate change as Mr. Obama continued to push the country's internet policies to cut planet Warmer the ministers before. Amman, Islamic State fighters stormed the Syrian town of Tel Aviv on the Turkish border of Tuesday and captured a neighbor from the Syrian Kurdish YPG Milta but severed setbacks in the northeastern city of Haska, a monitor in the army said. Dubai, Al Qaeda's leadership of Islamic militancy in Yemen is being challenged amid the chaos of civil war by the rebel Islamic State, which could become a bigger threat to the group than the U.S. In Albany, New York, the September the prison were two. Killers broke out that has been placed on leave along with a security chief and ten of his staff members were made a running in the criminal investigation and how the inmates pulled off the daring escape. Former police responded to race relay protests and riots in Ferguson, Missouri last summer made a series of missteps according to attacking down a crowd by attack dogs the military style tactics quarter report from the U.S. Justice Department. In Washington, the federal expert in Fort Bank. Well, the phrase that started in the midnight Tuesday due to congressional inaction, the bank is a small government agency that provides financial support to the U.S. Walt Disney Company said the name Christine McCarthy as the chief financial officer McCarthy previously served as Disney's director over the past 15 years. U.S. stock gave up some of their gains in an afternoon trading on Tuesday as investors remained on the edge, hoping for a last minute deal to keep Greece in the euro. Apollo Education, the group of corporate and owner of the University of Phoenix, fell. The most of the three months after the lower profit and revenue forecast that enrollment will fall by 50,000 next year. Looking at the stock market report now. Close 1769, but hopefully up 42.68. SP5 26.5.75, up 8.11. And Nasdaq 4098, up In Memoria, a Liberian teenager died of Ebola more than seven weeks after the West African country was scored free virus, the government leader said on Tuesday. Cuba became the world's first country to say win World Health Organization certification that had eliminated the mother child transmission of both HIV. Peter Tell News on 303 Time Hour Sports. Tonight, the Boston Red Sox will be in Toronto, taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Game time, 7.07 p.m. with Eduardo Rodriguez on the man for the Red Sox ball. Mark was on the man for the Toronto Blue Jays. Roger Federer cruises past the man, the first round of the women 2015. One person who won't be involved in all the in the deal with the clock clear strikes 12 is Greg Popovich as the Senator Express coach made this clear to the Senator Express to say that he's not calling anyone at midnight. Kentucky coach John Cooper treated the announce that Tuesday in the latest rooms Lincoln and the NBA jobs and there's no substance in the notion they would leave the clock break for the Sacramento Kings. Calgary, Alberta. The Calgary Flames have signed Dougie Hamilton to a six-year contract. Hamilton's deals report worth three four and a half million dollars. Pierre Chell News Times 304. Time now for a travel report here on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon here and down and around here. 95 minutes up and tight. It's sold for downtown Providence. 
1467 sold before Route 95. 95 northbound to get an accident and 195 in the downtown province. Here's so expect some delays around that area here. 195 in the eastbound side, it is sold from Somerset to the Braga Ridge and Fall River here. 139 on the northbound side of Newport Bridge, eastbound side of Route 138, it's a little slow here. Route 4 on the southbound side, a little slow around Route 1 and North Kingston. 138 on the southbound side, sold before Route 1 and North Kingston Renown here. Route down on the Cape here, Route 6 on the westbound side, a little slow after Route 149 and Barnes Bowl, so expect some delays around that area here. Route 20 on the southbound side, a little slow at the Falmouth stretch. 20 on the northbound side, slow around the ball and water right here. Route well, 3 on the southbound side, so after Union Street and Braintree, all the way up to Derby Street and Hingham, here to do some road work here. 120 on the southbound side, it's so from Route 20 and Randolph to the Braintree split. 120 on the southbound side, so from Braintree split to uh, Route 37 here. Braintree split, blown both ends here. On the other to Southfield to Express, your northbound side from Route 3 of accident, so expect them to lay down that area here. 93 in the southbound side of downtown Boston slow to an accident on 93 in the northbound side around the Mass Pike here. Southfield Expressway southbound side it is sold from the Pike to the Brain Tree split to an accident on 93 in the northbound side in Dorchester here. 93 northbound Southfield Expressway northbound in Dorchester slow from the Brain Tree split all the way up to the Mass Pike here. 120 in the southbound side so from Waltham all the way up to Great Plains Avenue in Need a mirror, 120 on the northbound side. It is slow from the Mass Pike and Western all the way up to Waltham here. 120 on the northbound side, so for Route 2 in Lexington to Route 3 in Burlington. 120 on the southbound side, so for the Burlington stretch here. 93 on the no southbound side, it's so from Somerville all the way up to the Zaken Bridge. 93 on the northbound side, it is slow from Somerville all the way out route to 128 in. Reading. 120 on the southbound side, so from Limpy all the way up to the Red in here. 93 on the northbound side, so from Route 62 in Wilmington all the way up to the Route 93 in Andover here. So 95 in the Mass Pike Interchange in Westboro. A little slow here. 120 on the southbound side, slow from 114 in Peabody all the way up. Up to before 95. 495 on the northbound side, slow for the Lawrence stretch. 95 on the northbound side, slow from 113 to Newport Report to up to the 495 in Amesbury here. 101 on the westbound side, also in the Raymond stretch here, around in New Hampshire here. 95 on the northbound side, also after Route 101 in Hampton here. And Spalding and Turnpike, slow after Route 4 in Durham here. And up in Maine, we have the main Turnpike. Low before 295 up in Gardner, Main here. 213 on the eastbound side, so between 93 and 495 in Suen and Lawrence here. 193 and 495 in Suen and Lawrence here. on the MBTL, looking good. On the Green Line, Green Line, B Branch Spirits of Barter Westbound Delays between Kenmore and Boston Cottage. Civil Line, SL5 Spirits of Barter Delays due to traffic here. Civil Line, SL4 Spirits of Barter Delays due to traffic here. And the Career Rail is looking good. Peter Channel News Time is now 3.09 p.m. here on this Tuesday afternoon here. Day one, today and tonight. How's the weather not expected the time? And how's the weather outlook? Day two for seven, Wednesday for Monday. A few strong and severe thunderstorms are possible Wednesday. There is some uncertainty with a prospective time in the main. Threats will be damaging wind gusts and hail. In addition, every rainfall may be resulting in low clouds for the year. And checking out the radar here on this. Tuesday, and we're seeing some downpours. Around 290 and on Route 90 and 190 and Route 2 around Lemster and Fitchburg. And there's another heavy band of rain shots south of Garner and positioning on where the storms may be going here. Around 
It is not looking like it's gonna strengthen a week in here, but 24 hours from now. All of the region will experience some showers and storms here. Some can be on the severe side here. Alright, seven day forecast. It goes like this here. For, this, for the rest of the afternoon, part time skies about 82 degrees. South for about 10 miles an hour here. Thank you. Most skies got a little bit 61 degrees. South face with about 7 miles an hour here. Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms before 3 p.m. Then showers like could possibly be a thunderstorm between 3 and p.m. and 5 p.m. Then check the showers and thunderstorms after 5 p.m. Some storms produce every rainfall. Part of before 3 p.m. under 78 degrees. Let south face wind. Become 7, 8 to 30 miles per the afternoon. Chest face is 8 percent. New rain fell months between a half to three quarters inch possible. With that, check your shots. Sun's on main before 8 p.m. Most skies got a little bit 60 degrees. South for about 3 to 8 miles by chest base to 30%. No rain for months less than 7 inch. Extra amount of possible thunderstorms. Thursday, slight check your shots. Thunderstorms also possible after 5 p.m. Part south skies about 80 degrees. Light available will be covered in west by 5 miles by the afternoon. Chest base to 20%. Thursday, slight check your shots. Thunderstorms before 10 p.m. The slight check your shots between 10 p.m. and midnight. Most skies got a little bit 60 degrees. Chest base to 20%. Friday, part of the podcast got about 37 about 37 degrees. And Wednesday, part of the podcast got about 70 about 60 degrees. Sunday, some of the podcast got about 81 about 60 degrees. And Monday, part of the podcast about 80 degrees. Not temperature at 310, 82 degrees. The humidity 44% of this. Fair sky. Uh, that's great for the period shelf. 3 o'clock news on this. Late Tuesday afternoon, June 30th, 2015. Please have a good rest of the evening with a good bye today to the studio for a late night report right after sports roundup. Have a good rest of the evening here.